What's up guys, Coconut here with Utopia Games coming at you with a Pokemon Sun and Moon Guardians Rising pre-release kit. I have two kits here, but I'm only going to do one right now on this video. Um, I'll be doing the next one on the other video. And then I also have a booster box right there that we will get to, and that will be yet another video. Um, I've been kind of MIA for a little while, busy with work and whatnot, but it, coming back to you, coming back strong, hopefully, um, with some cool pulls from pre-release kits. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Um, generally, you can cut the top of these boxes. They are just little like sleeves. I'll show you in a sec. Last time I did that, a couple people messaged me like, "Oh, I can't believe you cut it!" But see, it's just a sleeve. Nothing really special about it. it just tells you what you're gonna get inside. So you definitely chuck that. Also inside, you're gonna be getting a little poster thing that says, "You know, Islands Guardians ready for battle." Yada 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 pre-release tips, all that good stuff on how to build a deck. Um, the funny thing is, on a pre-release though, most pre-releases that I've seen, or at least for this one, um, they're saying that you were supposed to get three packs at the end of the pre-release, no matter how good or bad you do. Alright, so we get our one seated pack, I'll open that first, and then we get four regular packs inside the box. Looks like that's it. Then you get a box itself, it's kind of cool too. Um, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. Unfortunately, I will not be showing the codes on this video, so if that's all you came here for, I do need to get a playset of each of these cards, so for now, the codes won't be shown. Let's go ahead and try to focus up on these. Let's wait for the camera to focus. Come on. Alright, there we go. I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, I don't really know the Alolan Pokemon names that well. So we got Ori... What's that? Ori Corio. That's my pre-release card. It's usually an alternate art card. Um, one colorless. Search each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile. Or for each, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. That is extremely good. <coughs> uh, what's this next one? One colorless. If there are no stadiums in play, this attack does nothing. So basically, you're just supernatural dancing. That's going to just completely mess up. Um, Vile Plume. I'm not Vile Plume. Uh, Vespa Queen decks, I guess an expanded, it could mess up uh, that deck everyone hated. I'm just going to move that out of the way really quick. God, I can, I'm just blanking on all this stuff. I, I guess I'm just too excited for these new cards, to be honest. In the seated pack, they usually give you um, stage ones and their basics so that you can attack with them. And your deck isn't a complete, just like, rainbow deck. So you get the Lilligant with its basic... You get Phantom, which means we're going to be getting Trevenant. I forget that Phantom and Trevenant are also grass. And they give you some trainers so that your deck won't completely suck. They're not the best trainers in the world. This guy right here is really good. 120 stage 1. Um, your opponent, for two colors, your opponent reveals their hand. This attack does 30 times each trainer card you find there. So those annoying item lock decks, if you want to build a budget version, this will be a pretty good one. Um, you, just, you just lock all their items, 30 damage times. I mean, if they have 5, you're doing 150. Like, that just seems super good to me. It's going to be probably a super fun deck. Um, its second attack isn't the best in the world. You're probably just going to be dropping DCEs on this, so I don't imagine ever needing to put two green energy, but, you know, it's, it's there. Haunch Crow, super cool looking card. Um... First attack kind of stinks, 30 damage, just whatever, to anyone. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on all of your opponent's Pokemon. That can be a pretty interesting attack for two colorless. A lot of two colorless attackers in this set, I believe. Then they give you the Murkrow, so you can evolve them. Panchams. And then they give you the guy, but the non pre release one. How, Lily, Timer Ball. Oh, there we go, Pangara. 70 damage, 330, I guess that's cool, whatever. But there's the regular art, and then you get the pre-release art. Definitely a different looking card, like completely. They used the other um, form, I guess. Cool looking though, either way, I think that could be a really fun card. Go ahead and grab a sleeve for that card. Leave that bad boy up. Watch me bend it on video. Just kidding. 
Alright, let's jump into the packs. Let's just see what we get. Once again, focus up. Ooh, white code. Now we're excited. Got Carivana. Hopefully it'll focus up by the time I get to the good cards. Fletchling. Litwick. I'm going to kind of go through these commons pretty fast because honestly these guys aren't all that fantastic anyways. We got Drompa. Field Blower. That one is going to be a super good card. I'm predicting 50 cents to a dollar. But choose any two in combination of tools and stadiums and play yours or your opponents and discard them. Obviously you're going to just target your opponents. Um, and it says up to so you don't have to get um, if they only have one, you don't have to hit any of yours. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that right there just because it's a good card. Oh, cool. We got his... Uh... Oh, no. That's not him. That's a different guy. That one looks cool. The card's not good, though. Whatever. Next. Brooklet Hill. Very good card for water box. Um, I'm not sure which stadium is going to be better to play, but this one is super cool. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic water or basic fighting Pokemon, put it in their bench, and then shuffle their deck. So it's definitely just going to help the water box deck speed up if it needs to. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure if that one's going to be the, the optimal one to get um, or to put in your deck. Still cool nonetheless. Looks like it's just a double foil pack. And we got the Machamp. Looks cool, but for two fighting, let's see, 20 damage, does 80 more damage for each prize card your opponent took on their last turn. I guess that's kind of cool. 150, does 30 damage to itself. Probably not going to be a playable card, but you know, it's, it's whatever, I suppose. Can't win them all. At least it was a double foil pack. That white coat card got me a little excited. Alright, next. The other cool thing, even if it is a green code card, Aqua Patches are still amazing to get right now. Another white code. Alright, Barboach, kind of a waste. No one's ever going to play that card. The Lolan Geo dude's kind of cool if this could ever focus up. Um, I, when I first saw this one, I was like, what, electric? But then I, I forgot that the Lolan one's electric, so kind of cool, I suppose. Fletchling. Garbage. Oh yeah, you got the Metagross EX or GX in the set. Altar of the Soon. Whoops. Fire and Steel Pokemon have no weaknesses. A card that a lot of people were talking about when they first previewed this almost like three months ago now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but we'll see if that one sees play or not. But definitely a very cool card right now. Um... The Lolong Graveler looks super cool. Not the best card in the world, but looks super cool. How funny, I didn't realize that that was interesting. Fletch Finder, no one cares. Oh, that's a GX of some sort. Alright, here we go. Focus up. Bam! Drampa GX. Nice. This is actually my second one. I got one on my stream earlier today. This card is super cool. I do like it a lot. Um, I have a couple people that were saying that it's probably going to replace their Tauruses in their deck. But for one colorless, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. does 20 damage. Um, that's pretty cool. Not a very special energy heavy format with the exception of double colorless. So we'll definitely knock all those off. Three colorless energy, it does 80 damage, and if your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on them, it does 70 more. So for three energy, a DCE, and, a, and any energy I'd imagine, you're doing 150 damage, which is pretty awesome. But his GX attack, I think, is super cool. Um, Big Wheel GX, shuffle your hand into your deck, and then draw 10 cards. So you're not drawing one, or three, or five, or seven straight up 10 cards like that is a lot of cards anyways our first GX for this thing generally most of these pre-release kits only get one GX I've seen a couple with two before so it's not unlikely but probability is probably not going to be in my favor you know we got a green code so that means it's going to be a junker 
Maybe I'll get a cool uncommon like the water cards or even the, the um, new muscle band or whatever it's called. Oh, sweet. Reverse foil altar. Not bad. Cool. So I have the fire version of it. Search your deck for up to three basic fire Pokemon. Put them on the bench. Shuffle your deck. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. 30 discard energy from this Pokemon. If you do, discard energy from your opponent's active. That seems interesting. I'm not sure if that'll see play, but it's interesting. Energy. <laughs> Another altar. Uh, maybe it's not as rare. What the? Altar of the sun, altar of the moon. How funny. Retreat costs of each Pokemon, both yours, that has any psychic or dark energy is two less. I don't think that one's ever going to see play either, to be honest, but pretty funny. Alright, next and last pack. Don't fail us, please. Get that DCE hyper rare. I mean, uh, secret rare. Alright, here we go. Oh, white code. Alright, sweet. So we have a chance. Gumi. Oh, look at that. That's like a uh, quilted guy. It's interesting. Wishy washy. I don't want to read this one. You're more than welcome to pause it. Some about GXs and returning them or something dumb. Vanellites. Clefairy. A common rock rough, finally. So if you want to play the what's his faces, GXs, the Lycan Rocks that came out that you had to get the promo for. Now you got this one. We got a Litwick Reverse. Multi switch, move an energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. I'd rather just play energy switch, but okay. Weeping Bell. Watchog. Whatever. Energy. Alright, here we go. Be something. Nope. Comfy. Let's see. What does this guy do? Wow, it's really hard to read in this light. Ability, Flower Shield. Each of your Pokemon that has any fairy energy attached to it can't be affected by any special conditions. Remove any special conditions affecting those Pokemon. 30 for a fairy colorless. Your opponent draws a card. Okay, that is pretty terrible. Alright. Anyways. So our foils were the Litwick. The Comfy. Not the Alter. That Alter, though. Kind of cool. Wee! Another one of him. I think that's really, really good. Um, might see some play. Alter. Drompa. I don't really think the Drompa's that good. But we'll see. Machamp and the Field Blower. Definitely a good uncommon. And then obviously we got our cool pre release card. Alternate picture. And our Drompa GX. Man, this lighting is terrible. Alright, there we go. Drumpa GX. Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that pull. I don't think he's pre-selling for a ton right now, but I think he definitely has a lot of potential. And I, like I said, I have I know a couple people who said it might replace their Tauros GXs in their deck. Um, his discarding energy, not terrible. Could be really good, just depending on the matchup. That Berserk for 150, like almost 3 energy every time is... I mean, 80 base but 150 normally like you're probably gonna have damage on some of your guys but that big wheel gx is just so good if you don't play gx's like if you're playing volcanian and you tech one drumpa gxing big wheel to draw 10 i mean that's pretty broken um but super cool i think not too bad on the poles let's go ahead and put all this up um like i said i'll be opening up the other sun and moon pre-release. Look at that. And they even give you a special little box to put them in. How awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll be opening up the other pre-release on the next video. Um, go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys got in your pre-releases this weekend. And uh, if you got anything cool out of your bonus three packs, I definitely want to know. Um, if anyone got that Secret Rare DCE, I think that's the chase card I'm going to be looking for the most. Um, maybe the Tapu Lele is there pre-selling for a ton right now. Um, at the moment of this video, the Hyper Rare Tapu Lele is selling for $80, I believe, pre-sale. 
Um, so that'll be interesting to see. Check back on this video in like you know a week or two and see if it's dropped down or have gone up. But uh, yeah. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys got in your polls and what you think of the GX I got. Um, and go ahead and watch out for the uh, next video in the booster box opening. All right, this is Cap Coconut signing out. Thank <laughs> you.